Welcome to the Noonday Meditation with Wayne Vernon. Genesis chapter 33, 12 and following. Then Esau said, Let us be on our way. I'll accompany you. But Jacob said to him, My Lord knows that the children are tender and that I must care for the ewes and lambs that are nursing their young. If they are driven hard just one day, all the animals will die. So let my Lord go on ahead of his servant, while I move along slowly at the pace of the droves before me and that the, of the children until I come to my Lord in Seir. Esau said, Then let me leave some of my men with you. But why do that? Jacob asked. Let me find favor in your eyes, my Lord. So that day Esau started on his way back to Seir. Jacob, however, went to Sukkah. There he built a place for himself and made shelters for his livestock. Then Esau said, Let us be on our way. I'll accompany you. Having genuinely released his erring brother, Esau proceeded to give evidence of his forgiveness. He did at least two things that revealed the authenticity of the resolution. Esau offered to accompany his brother the rest of the way. This is true reunion and restoration. He invites his brother, let's journey together. Amazing. Esau said, I will accompany you. When Jacob objected, Esau had one more suggestion. Let me provide support for you. First, he said, let me stand with you. Let me journey with you. Let me accompany you the rest of the way. Now he says, let me support you. Let me provide support for you. Let me leave some of my men with you. Loved ones, are you paying attention to the developments in this story? I, I really pray that you do. Notice that there was no mention of the two instances in which Jacob had offended Esau. Esau obviously approached the peace talks already resolved in his heart to forgive, to offer grace to his brother and to let it go. He had let it go even before he met his brother. You see, friends, let's take the conflict resolution or the conflict management process seriously. We must live out our faith not only in the public square, but also in our families and every community that we are associated with. So the question is, are you prepared to stand with and journey with a family member or anyone for that matter who has hurt you after resolution? Esau has set us an amazing example in this regard. But not only that, are you willing to provide support to someone who has offended you badly but has sought your forgiveness? Esau did. Again, Esau's action is emulatable. Let us today forgive and free those who have offended us. Let us prepare to stand with them, to accompany them, to journey with them and to provide support for them if needs be. Many have argued that they have no problems in forgiving, but forgetting is another issue. I call upon you today by the grace of God to forgive and to free those who have hurt you.
You see, in doing so, you will release not only the other person, but you will release yourself as well. Let us commit to forgiveness and freedom today. Should you need further instructions in these matters, please feel free to text the number 647-696-0422. If you desire to surrender your life to the Lord Jesus Christ today, please text the word salvation to this number as well. Someone is standing by to support you. Please remember to pick up your copy of my book, Six Practices of Effective Leadership on Amazon today. The link is conveniently provided for you in the description below. If you live in Jamaica, the books are now available at the National Office of the New Testament Church of God in Rodenspen, Old Harbor. You can call them and make arrangements to get your copy. If you desire to have us come into your churches to support you in your leadership preparation process, please feel free to reach out to us. We would be more than happy to do so. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Thank you for listening to the Noonday Meditation with Pastor Wayne Vernon. Please forward this study to your friends, your relatives, associates, neighbors, and all those persons in your social network. If you have a prayer request, please feel free to communicate with us and we will commit to supporting you in prayer. Until we meet again tomorrow, Shalom.